Welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to be talking about how to fix our eyes. So make sure you tabbed over into edit mode and we're going to turn on our eyes here. And notice they're kind of grayed out a little bit and we don't see the lines. That's because we still have our Suzanne in edit mode technically. And these are things you're going to get used to as you're doing Blender more and more, but just switch over to the eyes and we want to edit the eyes now and we can even turn off Suzanne so go ahead and hit the little eyeball there for Suzanne and we can hide that and the issue here if we check all is that we have these manifold or non-manifold loops around our eyes here and the reason they're an issue is they're kind of just they're just open shells almost like thin pieces of paper in the slicer's eyes it doesn't know really what to do with this geometry because it's not closed. Um, so you may be thinking, well, I see bowls and vases printed all the time. Why isn't this uh, 3D printable? And the issue is it's just too thin. Like if this were, if we wanted to print these, we would have to add some, essentially some thickness to this shell. But as far as, um, you know, how a slicer or a 3D printer sees this piece of geometry is that it's just an empty shell of nothingness almost it's just uh it's too thin and not closed so easy way to fix that is just go to make manifold boom and looky there we've fixed that um issue right there and so now these are closed so if we check all bloop the non-manifold has gone away and these objects are now closed and watertight and 3d printable so good job but we do still have our thin faces so if you click on thin faces blender will highlight where the thin faces are and then you can just hit period on your numpad and that will zap you right to the issue. So what this is saying here is that this edge right here, kind of right here, let me use my annotate tool. <laughs> this tool, this little edge right here is just too steep or too sharp or too thin, you know, for the 3D printer. It may have troubles uh, printing that. So I think it would be fine, but you know, let's just try and get all these zeroed out. And let's go to our selection tool and maybe just grab the edge here. So I'm just gonna hit two to go into edge mode, grab that little guy here, and we're just going to bring it down a little bit. So all I want you to do is hit G to grab it, and then hit Z to lock it on the Z axis, and just drop it down a little bit. Or just, you know, because right now it's really sharp, we just want to make it less steep or less sharp. So just somewhere in that ballpark should be good. Just kind of make it less sharp or steep or thin right there. And then let's check all. Hey, hey, there we go. So now Blender's saying, okay, that's cool. We can rock with that. And there you go. So now if we check all, everything's good except for our overhanging faces right here. Uh, but that's okay. This, I believe, is going to be in line with our 45 degree rule. It's pretty close. It's a little further past a 45 degree angle, but it's so tiny and so small. I don't think it's going to uh, be an issue with our 3D printers. Uh, but if it is, you know, we can always come in here and, you know, let's just rotate them up. So just G and Z and just bring them up like that. And let's see which the other ones were here. This one here. So maybe we want to grab the point in here. So we'll go to point mode with one and then grab that little little point here and do Z and just bring it up ever so slightly. And now we can check all. And it's still saying that this is just a little too steep. I mean, again, this would be fine, but we're here. So let's just, let's just play with it. And we can grab these, maybe hit G and then G again to to, grab, to slide it. So I just hit GG and that will let you slide that down. Let's check that. So still not. There we go. So, I mean, we didn't really have to do that, but I just wanted to show you how you would go about uh, zeroing out every single thing inside of that. So now we shouldn't have any more steep angles and the 3D printer should be able to print that a lot easier. All right, so now let's turn on our Suzanne monkey here. And now we have our eyes that are manifold and ready to be 3D printed. We also have our Suzanne head, which is manifold and ready to be 3D printed. But the issue is we still have two separate objects technically. So let's jump into the next lesson where I'm gonna show you how to merge or kind of unify or combine these objects together in a flexible way so that our slicing softwares see these as one object, uh, but we can still always go back and make changes separately. It's very powerful workflow. So let's go ahead and dive on in it. 